Hi and welcome to K9P4.com again. We are going to go through a brief demonstration overview of usage of a compound microscope such as this one. First we want to go over some terms. So you have here attached your 2 megapixel LCD screen. This is also available for an upgrade in 5 or 10 megapixels at an additional cost. So you are actually going to get better resolution looking through the eyepieces. However, having both options enables you to see your sample and cells quickly at a glance and also more in detail through the adjustable eyepieces. You can adjust these to your eyes. Um, so quick breakdown of terms. Here we have the head, the ocular lens eyepieces at a 10x magnification, your objective lens carousels, these are also differing in magnification, taking you from low to, to high. Your aperture, focusing your light source at a 1.25 magnification. And of course your light source on the bottom. This is referred to as your mechanical stage. This is where you'll maneuver around your sample on a slide and slip cover to analyze the contents of what you're looking for. On the right you have both your fine and coarse tuning. You can watch the stage will actually move up and down as you adjust it. You'll need to do this to center or focus your the image you are trying to look at. The coarse one is going to be the black turning knob that will turn it up more and as you get closer to what you're viewing are for fine adjustments, you turn the blue knob. This tuning knob is also on the left side. They both accomplish the same things. So you can tune it from the left or tune it from the right and it'll do the same exact task. The next mechanical setting we have here is the mechanical stage. Moving the dial on the, the upper portion, we'll move it front to back. And on the bottom portion, we'll move it left to right. This is gonna be where your slide is located. We'll now show you that and go through how to focus your microscope. So now we're just going to push the stage clip back, slide out our slide, and prepare another sample. So be sure that your glass is clean. You're going to want a clean glass in order to get a good view. So you can place it on the mechanical stage carefully. Carefully remove yourself what's called a cover slip. Be careful with these items as they're typically made out of glass. So we're going to set a single cover slip just on the side. Then with our sample, and this could be anything we want to look at in depth, semen, blood, urine, we just need a drop. So we're just going to take a little bit, place a single drop right on the center of the slide, close up the specimen, and then from here, we don't want to drop it quite directly flat on to the sample drop. We want to place it at the, on one edge first and then come down and it will spread out throughout, throughout the surface of the cover slip. Then we'll pull back the stage clip, insert it into place, maneuver the stage for the best location for what we want to look at, and use the fine or coarse adjustment knob to get the image in place. Be sure to use it on the lower magnification as that's going to be the easiest to find. So if you see something that looks like this, this is actually in the glass and you're not quite to the sample yet. But it's a good indication that you're very close, so keep moving a little bit forward and don't get frustrated. This whole tuning can be a little difficult. And in terms of sperm size, you may need to start with the 40x objective and not the 10. If it's too small, you'll simply see white throughout the sample until you increase the magnification. So here we're at, that's just a break, tiny microscopic break in glass. And we'll continue moving. Now we are seeing the sample. I'm going to make some adjustments. So now we're zoomed in on the 40X. This is where a good dye would help, but we can see dead sperm here. We actually have no live sperm in this specimen, and they're floating around a little bit. If you're getting a floating image, that may mean you put too much sample 
on the microscope slide. We only want the sample to be a couple cells thick, and this is a little heavy, so they're kind of pooling around there. You can see a little movement, but for the most part, these sperm are, are dead. Now, we're going to take you through how to look at it with the 100x oil. This needs to be viewed with oil so that the light doesn't scatter. We're just going to put a single drop where we want to check the specimen, try to avoid any bubbles. I did there. And the objective part of the microscope lens is actually going to be immersed in the oil. So once finished, wipe off the lens with the Kimtech wipe. Now it may suit you to find a lower objective and center it above the oil before we turn to the oil use. And you just turn it and it'll snap into place just like that. Now at this magnification even the fine adjustment will move it considerably. Okay, so here we have that same stoma plant cell at 100x. So this is the plant cell at 2000 magnification. This is as high as it's going to get. So notice here how even with the fine tune adjustments, it's very easy to get out of perspective at this magnification. If you're having issues finding what you're looking for, use your practice slide, go down to the minimum 10x magnification, get a good clear focus shot there, and then move forward in the magnification as you go to be as close to the right tuning as possible. Now you can also note on the bottom left here, on the bottom of the optical device, there is a light attenuator, so as we move it up, it's going to decrease the amount of light coming through, and you'll notice that from the light source here as well. As you move it back, it opens it wide up. So for contrast, you might find that to be helpful. The condenser will also move up and move down closer to and away from the slide. You may find some assistance maneuvering between those two positions as well. And again, looking through the eyepieces is going to give you the best resolution unless you've purchased one of the higher resolution screens. So this image looks a lot better through here than it does on top. And that's it. Thanks for visiting us at K9P4.com for brief training on your dual optical microscope.